What's up guys? On today's video we got another challenge for the Alloy Man Mini Chainsaw here. So uh, I've been putting it through its test as you can see uh, from the bar. I just uh, freshly oiled it. Maybe a little bit too much but it's okay. I've been putting it through its paces so it does need some oil on the uh, the bar and the chain. So uh, that's something to make sure you want to do. Um, so far the Alloy Man Mini Chainsaw has uh, stood up to the test and um, done everything I asked it for to even things that it wasn't designed to do. So today, this is going to be a, a another video as well. Today I'm gonna to be cutting up this magnolia. So this magnolia wood here, if you don't know, magnolia is a very dense, very thick, very hard to burn wood. If you don't remember from a previous video, this is the tree that I was cutting down, actually this branch right here. So that, you can see, <laughs> how big it is the piece that came down and hit my head this is the tree I was cutting down that fell on my head took a whole bunch of uh, hair off my head and uh, made me bleed I'll show you the base of it now so after I remove this entire tree because it was big it's probably this area is probably 30 feet uh, I was left with the stump and uh, very complicated stump because magnolia trees are very um, you know sporadic and they, they grow up in this little bunch here so I decided to build a bonfire around it. I had this bonfire roaring. It, it burned for probably 12 hours. You know, 10, 12 feet high. And as you can see, did nothing to this tree. Um, this might be the worst part right here. This wood is very hard to burn, almost impossible to burn. So I might, might take some more of that too. <clears throat> when the plans to cut that tree down first happened, my wife told me that that was her grandmother's favorite tree so we had agreed that if I made her a table out of the tree that way she had a piece of it and she could say this is my grandma's favorite tree now that she's passed on then that would be okay so that's what I'm doing so here's a piece I cut a while ago what I'm gonna do here uh, is cut some slices some people call them cookies cut some slices about two inches thick then I'm gonna, you know, stack them and arrange them all inside the mold and then make a table out of these with epoxy resin. But first I need to cut all this wood. Once I cut it, let it out, let it dry. <clears throat> I could also bake it if I'm in a hurry, but we'll see. Um, for right now though, I'm just gonna get all these pieces cut up into size and then we'll go from there. Um, like I said, I might go over there with my normal chainsaw and get some more pieces of it we'll see but for now I'll be able to show you maybe one it's gonna be hard to film this and do it at the same time I'm only one person so let me try to see what I could do All right, so that's just one of the cuts. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole thing because it's gonna take me a while to do this. I'll, I'll get as much footage as I can. But uh, as you can see, um, where this thing, you know, cuts like butter through other things, it struggles with the magnolia tree because it's a very dense wood. It's a very tight ringed wood. It's hard. Um, like I said, it's almost impossible to burn. And then uh, um, chain's still sharp. Chunks are real big. Cut is real smooth. Um, I have no problem with that. There it is. So I'm going to keep going here and get this all cut up. This piece is a good six to eight inches across, so it will be challenging for this. Some people might ask why I don't just uh, use a like a circular saw, a chainsaw, or um, even a miter saw to cut this. Uh, I had a bad accident with my miter saw and this uh, piece of wood. Actually, this particular piece of wood, because um, like I said, it's very hard. Um, Outside of lumber, because with lumber you can set it up against the fence very tightly and keep it from moving while you're cutting it. This is very hard to do that with um, because it's a natural piece of wood. It's not straight. 
it's not flat by any means so what had happened was while it was being cut even though it was like pressed hard up against the fence it turned and when it turned because it's catastrophic because the blade caught catastrophic event that smashed the fence broke the blade I almost lost part of my hand it was very very scary and that's why in some cases I tell you that uh, my miter saw scares me a little bit because I had that incident but it's all good now but um for the future I won't be using that to cut something like this Okay, I'm gonna let this baby cool down for a little bit. Uh, it's probably one of the best tests that it could uh, it could stand. Um, cut nonstop through a very hard, dense wood. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half cuts on a two amperage hour battery before it died. So I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'll I'll straighten this up put another battery on it and keep going. But uh, that's how many cuts I got out of one two amperage hour battery. All right, so uh, I believe I have enough uh, slices of this tree to make a table already. So uh, these were the bigger chunks. I'm going to cut all of it up. I'm just not gonna cut all of it up right this minute um, because the alley man saw keeps getting hot. Um, this is, like I said, a very tough task for it. But it makes some beautiful cuts. Let's see if I can show you the cut there. Very smooth very even it's a very nice cut and I've been using this uh, I've been using this saw for for months um, still the same chain it did come with an extra chain but I have yet to uh, feel the need to change it um, the pieces the sawdust that you're creating still is very big chunks of wood that's how you know it's grabbing and it's uh, still sharp um, you could sharpen them, but the chains aren't aren't that expensive. It's really not worth your time. But all in all, it does the job. I'm going to be making a table from this wood. So, stay tuned for a future video. I'll include uh, some of these cutting shots in the video I make about the table. But for now, this will just be about cutting the wood. Links are in the description where you could uh, purchase this saw. Uh, I believe I'll have an affiliate discount code um, also associated with that by the time this comes out. But either way, it's an awesome saw. I recommend it. Whether you watch it here on the 570 or you watch it here on Rustic Creations NEPA, I always thank you for stopping by. This is Josh, and we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Mav. Bye. Wave. Bye. <laughs> see ya.